everyone. <laughs> hey, let me laugh small. Fubara and his people, they see they, they, they see they throw shades at each other, doing all sorts of drama. Ah, it's been a while that we saw any drama between Fubara and Wiki. I, I think uh, they sort of like also moved on. People have also moved on, you know, with, with so many things happening in the country. Some of them, of course, uh good some of them crazy some of them really bad so some of them funny and so there's so many things you know things overwhelm the whole issue or whatever shenanigans that are going on in river state but i just saw this headline today and it really just so funny and it just made me laugh and i'm like these people are still on this case instead of uh, you know just focusing on governance these are some of the things that come from all of these uh uh godfatherism kind of politics that is being played especially in this time where the godsons don't want to be slavish the way they used to be in the olden days so people get into this position they also want to assert themselves they also want to do their own thing and then there's so much clash that leads to a lot of distraction distracting people from the governance and things that need to be done that focus is no longer on the problem of the country or the people what's happening there the focus is now between the shenanigans that is happening between Godfather, Godson, as the case is usually is. And in, in other places, what they do is that, you know, maybe Godfather will sort of like just let things be and just move on. But we've seen the case of uh, Wiki and Fubara that it's, it has not really been that. And the Godfather is really invested uh, because he wants to keep on to that uh, structure, political structure of river state you know river state is it's in in nigerian politics river state plays a very critical role in terms of the fact that it has population compared to the other south south uh countries the the votes from the river state is usually quite high if i'm not mistaken i think it's usually the highest from that region from the south south region and also the southeast region so it's very critical politically and then also there is money from river state river state has a lot of money and unfortunately this monies are not are not just spent solely on the people of the state but also to play all sorts of political gimmicks as the case uh, may be so just like the way kano is also critical when you come to the northern part of the country in terms of the population that Kano brings in uh, with the vo with votes, so also is riv River State. And of course, in the case of River State, it also has, oh yeah, money. You know, money, they sweet, but oh yeah, money, they sweet. So that's all we've had. So in this news report, what we have here, it says, uh, I won 2023 election fairly. Nothing will cut short my tenure, Governor Fubara vows to serve full term. So this is parallel facts reporting this. It says Governor Simina Lai Fubara of River State has emphatically stated that his administration's tenure will not uh, prematurely end, asserting the mandate given to him by the people of River State in the 2023 gubernatorial election will be fulfilled. Addressing members of the family support group during a solidarity visit to the government house in Port Harcourt, Governor Fubara urged the residents of the state not to be apprehensive, assuring them of his administration's commitment to safeguarding their lives and property. Represented by the head of the civil service, Dr. George Weke, Governor Fubara emphasized that his government is dedicated to serving all segments of society, including youth, women, men and every well-meaning nigeria concerned with the progress of river state in a statement released by the governor's chief press secretary nelson chukudi governor fubara declared the whole land of river state stands in affirmation that we want the election fairly and deserve to serve at our full tenure there is not going to be anything that will cut short the popular mandate that you all gave this administration just about within weeks of assuming office, His Excellency Saf Siminala Fubara flagged up the Potako Ring Road project that will transfer six local governments. It will be completed within 36 months. But I think it will be completed before the time because the progress of the work we have seen is beyond what we were thinking. The official main trans Calabari road will start very soon and will begin from Potaco. A lot of plans have been made for that road and very soon you will see the contractors on site and River State will be open. Just yesterday you heard in the news also 
that the governor has commenced the construction of Elele Egbeda or Moku Road. That road was initially done with one label. Now he's going to dualize it. The government has already awarded uh, the contract. Anyway, this is Governor Fubara, you know, listing the things that he's doing. And for anyone who wants to uh, have the mandate of the people, especially when there's all of this fight going on, is to actually continue to give good governance, accountability, and transparency to your people. Of all the drama that has happened between Wiki, Fubara, uh, drama that has all gone on for me, one of the things that I have been so, uh, you know, focused on is the fact that let this be, let this be an opportunity for river state people to be able to get more good governance, uh, more uh, dividends for democracy. Because the only way that uh, Fubara will now show that, oh yes, is this, it's not just by talking, it's not just by uh, uh, fighting with Wiki, it's by actually giving his people good governance. Let, let the people feel him, feel his good governance. Not the kind of governance that you need policy experts to explain to the people that there were policies that were done. I mean, we've seen those kind of things. In, in my own state, in those state, that sort of the thing, they are telling us that, uh, oh, uh, Governor uh, Obaseki worked very well, but it's just that they were not blowing their, their trumpet. You don't need to blow your trumpet if you work very well. It's the people that will blow the trumpet for you. I don't see uh, Governor Alex Soti, I don't see him carrying this thing and blowing his trumpet. It is the people, not even the people he employed, it is citizens who are feeling the effect of his good governance that are going out there and blowing trumpet on his behalf. There was a day uh, someone had said something, and I said, is it the same Edo state that has been in city as a, as a state capital and is in the south part of the country? Because me, I don't see all those things that uh, uh, there you say. And the person comes to say to me, no, that he's a, he's a policy expert and so blah, blah, blah on the policies. I like, if you need a policy expert to explain your policies after eight years, what kind of policy is that? That means there wasn't any policy because policies are supposed to be solving the people's problem. And that's why at the end of the day, you all always do a uh, policy evaluation at the end of whatever policy you set it to see, has it really had the effect that it's supposed to have? Has it really solved the people's problem? Or, ha or has it ended up compounding it or doing nothing else? But hey, you have people that will tell you that, oh, there are policy experts that will tell you what the governor has been doing, that you, because you're not a policy expert, so you don't get to know what the governor uh, has been doing. But meanwhile, it's your life they're talking about because you are the one who is in that state or for the people who are in that state. So, as it is now, Governor Fubara is saying that he's there, he's staying his full term, no matter gi -gi 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 -ga 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 go 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 that they try to do to impeach him, he's going to sit down gidi ba. Gidi ba. Oka kanudu. It's a strong fast tone. He goes sit down. Anyhow, where they carry on. No shaking, no moving. Fubara say no, they grieve for anybody. This 2024, as they enter, so Fubara say he no grieve for anybody. So that's it from another Fubara uh, drama. Uh, hopefully, and uh, for me at the end of the day, like I always say, let it be that the people of River State are enjoying dividends of democracy. Now that one concern me. Nothing else, nothing more. Whatever they want to do with themselves, both we kill, both for battle, they are all others. Let them just, don't waste the state money, don't waste the state life, don't waste people's time and energy and everything, properties. Let it just be for the betterment of the people of River State.